ready for today. I'm making something really nice. I'm going to make chicken thighs with uh, doused with saucy apricot peachy gravy. It's delicious. It's going to go my bread and rice. Folks, I have to tell you something. Yesterday, I was so busy with plays all day. Yet I did two redos of my own. I actually directed both shows. One was a Christmas cow where I played uh, Jacob Marley, and then I played the Christmas Yet to Come. Uh, the, the Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come. And then I did Into the Woods. Later, I was the narrator. I played Granny and I played the Giant. But it's amazing I have a voice. So today, we're going to make a delicious meal. That's why I didn't really I cook yesterday. I was too tied up from doing these shows yesterday. All right. So you watch the chicken. Do not touch anything with chicken. When you have chicken on your hands, the chicken is like a, you know, it's right back here. You got to be very careful. Okay. I can't touch this knife, folks. Once I'm done with this knife, it's got to go in the dishwasher since I'm done with it. I have to grab a paper towel because I can't touch the faucet now because I touched the chicken. Oh, it never ends, folks, does it? Okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fun doing these read throughs yesterday. I really enjoyed doing them. Oh, folks, i got to tell you, I was so tired. I really did not get down to like 9 o'clock last night with shows. All day shows. Okay. We're going to do a lot of Christmas stuff that's coming up very shortly, folks. Not too far off. All right. I'm going to be very careful. I have to grab a paper towel because I don't want to touch anything. But I have to wash my hands now. You know, when you handle anything with chicken in, you got to be very, very careful. Now, the next thing I have to do is get rid of this. And this. I won't take any chance. I'm going to clean the, clean the countertop. I'll dump down a lot of salt, garlic powder, Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to grab a glass and make sure this is clean. Up here. This is our cat food aisle here. We have a lot of cat food here. We always have to stockpile our food because you never know what the shortage and everything. Alright, I'm gonna pop this in the oven and bake it for about a good 45 minutes to an hour. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna douse this chicken. This is a delicious dish. My mom and me used to make this when we were growing up. I remember having this? It was so delicious. Oh and like I said, I did two shows yesterday and no wonder why I'm tired. How many, how many pieces do you want? Two or three? Okay. Okay, we're going to cook this for just another few minutes. I just want to make sure this drain, drains into it. It's covering. It's delicious. Oh, it smells wonderful. We're going to pop it back in the oven for about another five or six minutes. And then we're going to put it over better rice. I have to add the better rice. It's very important to serve this over better rice. That's what makes it really unique. Here we go. Chicken flavored rice. It's delicious. And sometime down the road, I'll teach you how to make a chicken flavored rice. Gonna put it over the rice. No, we're not done yet, folks. We're gonna drop. We're gonna even put some on the rice. The sweet sauce. It's delicious. Oh. Now I'm gonna grab the corn. Clean fork. Goes great with corn. Take another piece out. Put it over here. Put a little bit more sweet sauce on it. And like I said, I had a ball yesterday doing two shows the same day. And here we have delicious pineapple, excuse me, apricot, peach apricot chicken over a butter rice from Deborah's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.